how to identify your project, prioritize it, understand who's your customer, and critical to quality. Well, I'm gonna answer all these questions in this video. And also I will share some of the top secret to make your Six Sigma project successful in your organization. Watch till the end. Hi, my name is Dhirendra. I'm a certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, Agile Ninja Coach, Professional Scrum Master, Senior Leadership Coach, and trained over 16,000 Lean Six Sigma professional. Well, what is Six Sigma? Or rather Lean Six Sigma, you heard. Lean is a Japanese approach and Six Sigma is a US-based approach. When you combine, it's a Lean Six Sigma. So Lean Six Sigma is a very disciplined, structured approach which focuses on reducing variation and improving efficiency and effectiveness of your business system, which means improving any kind of metrics that you have. Six Sigma will follow five disciplined phases approach, which is called DMAC. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. I'll not get into detail of it, maybe in the next video. But what happened before define phase? How do you identify project or prioritize? That something happened in predefined phase, which I generally call or recognize phase. So predefined or recognize phase, we understand who is our customer. So there are two types of customer, internal customer and external customer. Internal customer is any other department who is using or receiving your product, uh, maybe your outcome of your services. Uh, that can be, let's say, for HR, everybody else in the organization become internal customer. And external customer is, like for cell phone company, we all are external customer, right? Once you understand the customer, you need to understand what is critical for them. How do you understand the critical for them is critical to quality. So CTQ or critical to quality is any product or character, uh, you know, any product or service characteristic, which is important for the customer, which is critical for the business, for customer, for marketplace and compliance. That's what the CTQ is all about. There are different types of CTQs. I'll not get into that. But few example I can give is like quality, cycle time, employee satisfaction, customer satisfaction. These are you know few uh, CTQ example that I can give. Now once you understand the CTQ, the next thing is you can identify project. Now most of the organization will keep their project ready before they start the year. But if not, don't worry. I have a set of two tools which you can probably use it. First, you can use brainstorming, very commonly used approach, wherein you try to figure out what is the key, you know, what are the key issues in your organization. You will call managers and leaders and you will have a brainstorming session. You can also use another approach called benchmarking, wherein you can look at which is the best in class and try to achieve that. Maybe. You can also look at value stream mapping, third one, wherein you can figure out which particular step is creating a problem in terms of having a you know more defect or a higher cycle time and so on that can be another approach you can look at cost of poor quality wherein you look at internal external prevention and appraisal cost wherever the cost goes higher you can take up the project right you can also look at theory of constraint you can have a gamba walk and many more now once you identify project using these tools what happened next? You can't do many projects at the same time. You need to prioritize it. So you can use some of the tools to prioritize it like NGT, nominal group technique, multi-voting, or maybe pug matrix. Multi-voting and pug matrix is something that I commonly use. Multi-voting wherein everybody will vote at any idea, you know, multiple time, and that's called multi-voting right the way you see in a cricket or the way you see in any competition any particular candidate gets vote many times maybe semi-final final and so on so that's called multi-voting bug matrix is something wherein you list down what are the different projects that you have and then in a different column you will write your ctqs or requirements like your quality safety cost uh, compliance and so many things and then you can probably give a rating and look at which particular idea or which particular project has the highest rating that is your project to take up first hope this is absolutely clear now i'm going to tell you how do you make a project super successful please take care of your thing first your project should focus on cost avoidance 
bottom line profitability everybody will look at of course everybody look for money right so you also look for it. second if your project is focusing on business or customer ctqs when i say business or customer ctq a customer ctq example can be maybe overall improving customer experience quality and other aspect okay third you can look at if your project is having a clearly defined in scope or out of scope there should not be any confusion that's also good next if your project is a little short term when i say short term i don't mean like one or two days maybe three to four months looks good not like six month eight months or one year because by the time you complete your project people will kind of lose the interest so make sure your project is you you kind of you know break down the project if it is really big like if your project is improving or uh, maybe reducing attrition of overall organization take small project for different different department and that that can be a small project those can be a small project also right and last is you also need to have a clearly defined measure of success so your project should be something measurable otherwise you will not be able to see if you have really succeeded or not you cannot take project on something very generic okay so these are some of the tips which i would like to give and i'm sure you would like to join me in the next video so that i can share more and more about lean six sigma and help you to make you know become super successful please do share this video with somebody so that you can help somebody else and like comment and mention if you need any particular topic detail or if you want me to come up with some videos uh with respect to these topics or anything apart from this as well in lean six sigma all right so i'll see you in the next video thank you so much dhirendra signing off bye